guys, well, I'm back at the VT again today. I'm um, going to make some real progress on it, hopefully today. I've got some parts turning up. Um, I went to the wreckers yesterday and got these brand new transmission cooling lines, which I've got to fit. Um, they cost 33 bucks, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, just got it up on the ramps here so I can get at those, and I'll wash out underneath it after I'm done. Um, got a minor leak from somewhere. It looks like transmission fluid just dripping out, so I'd say it's where it's leaked onto the um, big thick bash plate under the engine and just sat there and sat there and sat there so yeah I'll have to pull that plate off you can't even get the sump plug out with that plate on there not that I can find anyway so I'll whip that plate off and replace these hoses and I'll pressure wash everything under it what else have I got coming today um, got engine cover coming so that'll look nice again once it's all washed up. Um, waiting on a power steering fluid reservoir, but that'll be here in due course. Um, I bought the power window switch off eBay, but that won't be here till next week, unfortunately. Um, I've got a full set of four chaser rooms coming, which I'll paint and then put on. And um, I've got tail light wiring loomed coming because one of the um, globe holders busted. Also got out of the super cheap auto clearance bin online a brand new Kenwood MP3 CD player to chuck in the hole there. So yeah, I'm going to make some real progress this week. Alright, so, got this cover off now. Um, it's been in a bit of a front end before but it's been back so I'd say it's been backed over something. But I've got this wiring harness here, I've got to dig out of there and probably repair. Not sure what it goes to, but probably stopping something from working. Maybe the fans, maybe that's why my engine light's on. I haven't worked exactly why that's coming on yet, but we'll get to the bottom of that later on. So yeah, I'll start on these hoses. I bent these metal pipes back into shape. Now these pipes aren't 100% kinked like they were. So that's a good start. Yeah, let's start with um, replacing these lines because that one there is definitely leaking. The feeling this job's going to turn into a fucking nightmare myself, but it's got to be done. There's one end of the hose there, and the other one's behind it. So I might have to take the cross member off and lower the transmission with the jack under it just to get to one little bolt. It's going to be a long day, I think. But all in all, that has to be done because that line is permanently attached up here. So it does need replacing because it's leaking fluid all over me. Yeah, what a pain in the ass of a job. Alright, I'll look into it a bit more, but I think that's what's going to be done. I also think I'm missing a cover here because you can see the flywheel open, but not sure if that's normal or not. Here's that, here's that bash plate that goes underneath. It's quite a heavy chunk of steel. Oh, I can't pick that up with one hand easily, so... Yeah, it's quite thick, probably three millimetres at least. I guess it'd stop things going through the sump anyway. That appears to get the fucking lines out once they're undone. Got to take the bloody radiator out, so that's what's next on the agenda. And hopefully we'll be able to get them undone. I've got the pots off the transmission just took me about an hour doing what not even a quarter of a turn at a time they're off so just got to get down now all that fucking stress just to get them two little bastards out so just to put the new ones in i think i might have lunch first oh that's all back together now gearbox is bolted back up what a prick of a job um while i've got the radiator out i'm gonna try and get this wiring loom out of where it's trapped in here and repair it because one of those fuses is blown I'm not sure what it's to oh, to one of the fans one of the 30 amp fuses so I'd say that's got something to do with it because that loom comes back up to that box and then fucks off somewhere else so I'll work it out just had a delivery um, got three wheels the fourth one's coming at the end of the week because he buggered up and put a 
Toyota rim in there instead. Um, got my engine cover, which I'll quickly just whack on for now. And um, got my tail light blow holders, so that one's a little bit busted, but that's as good as I'm going to get, so I'll buy another car and take it out of there some stage. As for this, I've straightened out this bar in the bottom a fair bit, but the radiator just doesn't quite sit down in there. So I might have to cut that whole section out of another car and put that in when I get the time. But for now it just sits here quite happily. Put a couple of cable ties over the top. And yeah, you should be right. Alright, connect all this shit back up and um, put the bash plate back on, give it a wash and I'll swap the wheels. Almostly back together now. Um, just got to put in the air intake that goes over the radiator and the cover that goes with it. Yeah, it's starting to come up quite nice I reckon. Um, a few more little repairs to do before roadworthy. I'm going to paint the wheels silver, put them on. Um, and yeah, just a few more stupid little things to fix and should be right to go hopefully. Oh, it's been a long day but got quite a bit done. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before but in New South Wales, cars over five years old have to have a road inspection every 12 months so it's going to be in pretty good shape. And um, I've got to have this test done in the next couple of weeks. So, I'll work on those wheels tomorrow, hopefully, and, yeah, get the rest of it sorted out. Thanks for watching.